You're watching KFBS 12. Live, local, late breaking. This is Heartland News at 5. I mean, these kids, they do commit these crimes, and they do need to be held accountable. But you don't throw them away. This local mother embarks on a bittersweet campaign, joining the national effort to keep teen offenders out of adult prisons. Good afternoon. A Jackson mom has committed herself to an issue that forces her to relive the worst chapter in her life. And I'll have her story for you in just a moment. Legislation working its way through the Senate right now calls for an overhaul of the entire juvenile justice system. And along with powerful lawmakers and advocacy groups, a local mom is adding her voice to the debate following the experience that changed her life. As soon as they got in trouble, I started researching. Tracy you know, McClard wanted time, to know what to expect after her son Jonathan's 2007 assault arrest. But as his experience changed, so did her focus. He was certified as an adult, then pleaded guilty. She watched his physical transformation as he faced a 30-year adult sentence. Three days after he turned 17, and just days before that sentence began, Jonathan took his own life. It was just like a buildup, and then by the time he died, it was like, okay, I've got to do something about this. McClard started at her computer. She found the Campaign for Youth Justice, a group working to keep teen offenders out of adult prisons. I thought, okay, I think I found something, you know, that can really help. But she wasn't the only beneficiary. With that first email, the campaign found Tracy McClard, a mother whose son committed suicide rather than serve adult time. A mother willing to tell her story as many times as it takes, knowing full well not everyone feels sympathy for her or her family. Some people uh, wonder, you know, why I do this because my son did such a horrible crime, and I'm fully aware of you know the crime that he did and I uh, and I know you know that there's another side out there that thinks that whatever happens to these kids in prisons is what they deserve but not only is that not helping the kids themselves that do commit the crimes it's not helping the community at all McClard looks no further than to her own son's records to prove the lost potential in young offenders. His high scores on the state high school equivalency test he took from jail. The positive comments and feedback from his teachers. There's absolutely nothing for them in adult prison besides either mental death or physical death. Spiritual, I mean, it's just sad. This was Father's Day, Sunday. Eight, As she works, this longtime teacher writes, keeping a journal she started after her son's arrest. She reads me an entry made a little more than a month after his death. I wish so much that I could just get a glimpse of him just to see you. There are smiles along with the tears, like on this night when campaign members traveled from Washington, D.C. to Jackson to surprise McClard with its Mother of Distinction Award. She's just this person who just jumped right back up after she lost her son, and I, 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 we are so proud to have her you know, help us in our campaign. It lets me know that maybe I am starting to make a difference. You know, Maybe I can save other families from the pain and the suffering that we've had to deal with. McClard traveled to D.C. in April, where she met with policymakers and shot a gut-wrenching interview that will soon be featured on the campaign's website. And I can handle him where he is now so much more than I could have handled him in prison because I can't I could keep him safe there. As she moves forward with her personal campaign, Tracy McClard and her family work to heal. She tells me Jonathan loved Myrtle Beach, so they scattered his ashes there last summer. Her son and daughter recreating a pose that included Jonathan when they were younger. Tracy herself draws on her faith. She tells me it used to break her heart to drive by the high school where this year her son would have been planning his graduation. But as I was driving by, you know, I heard, it's okay, he's with me. So ever since then, driving by the high school has been, it's been a lot easier because I just remember, it's okay, he's with me. 
The legislation the campaign supports is called the Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention Act of 2009. One of its sponsors, Illinois Senator Dick Durbin. It currently sits in the Senate Judiciary Committee. We'll keep you posted on its progress. Jeff. Kathy, thank you. Supporters.